This is Disneyland News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the Disneyland Resort stories for June 22nd, 2023. The two spring riders have been removed from Goofy's Had a Play Yard in Mickey's Toontown at Disneyland. The two seesaw-like spring riders previously sat on this green patch directly in front of Goofy's house. Uh, black rectangles are now in the ground where the spring riders used to be located. The toys were green and orange and had Sprinkle Spring 5000 labels on them. The reason for the removal is not clear. They may have been broken or maybe deemed unsafe for children. Uh, it's not clear, but this isn't the first change we've seen to Goofy's had a play yard. The birdhouse was replaced with a fake rock over a month ago. The birdhouse was reportedly temporary and a more permanent interactive version will debut later. Of course, also as of late, they've already been refinishing a lot of the ground around the land. Clearly, um, the land has not held up as well as they thought it would to children and play, which is what the land's built for. So uh, it's been interesting to watch as this land slowly, they, they roll back through it and sort of redo everything, it seems. Um, it, it, it'll be interesting to watch and see what the finished product looks like when they get everything uh, into the form it's supposed to be in. A Mr. Toad popcorn bucket that was first released at the Walt Disney World Resort is now available at Disneyland Park with a new Disney 100 strap. It's $30. The Mr. Toad's Wild Bride bucket celebrates the ride of the same name that opened with Disneyland in July of 1955 and is still operating today. Mr. Toad's iconic red motor car has a gold trim and says Toady on the hood. And the wheels of the car actually spin. The back opens up to access the popcorn, which comes packaged separately in case you want to keep your bucket in pristine condition. Uh, the display unit had a bottle of water in the compartment for some reason. <laughs> Just to explain why you're looking at that photo. The removable strap has a red and gold diamond pattern featuring various images of Mr. Toad and the Disney 100 logo. The Walt Disney World iteration of the bu Toad Bucket had a 50th anniversary strap. The bucket is available at the Fantasyland and It's a Small World popcorn carts. We found this one near the Matterhorn. They'll be limited to two per person per transaction and no discounts apply. New limited edition and limited release Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room pins have arrived at Disneyland to celebrate the attraction's 60th anniversary. We found them in 20th Century Music. Uh, the, limited edition, uh, the first limited edition pin is 1999. It features Juan the Barker Bird, who was once perched outside the attraction to entice guests to spend their e-tickets to come inside. Juan was a blue and yellow macaw, wears a, a brown hat and white collar uh, with black bow tie. The Tiki Room is pictured behind him. D23 Gold members can also get a Juan the Barker Bird exclusive pin through Shop Disney. The limited release pin is $17.99. It features several of the Tiki Room drummers and totem poles with green leaves and colorful flowers around them. The limited edition Enchanted Tiki Room pin set is $34.99. It includes four pins, each depicting one of the attraction's four Macaw MCs. That's Pierre, Michael, Fritz, and Jose. Fun fact, Jose is Juan's cousin, in case you didn't know that, because... The Barker Bird's been gone for so long. And here at WWNT, we are celebrating 60 years of Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room on Thursday night uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern. We have a very special edition of WDW News Tonight on the WDWNT TV channel. The whole episode celebrating that anniversary. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to be making cocktails themed to the four MCs of the Tiki Room. Uh, there will also be a uh, segment where we rank all of the inhabitants of the Tiki Rooms around the world. A lot of fun stuff and a lot of surprises. So tune in uh, either live at 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, uh, or again, you can watch whenever it's on demand. It'll be on the YouTube channel whenever you'd like to enjoy it. Please check it out. There will also be a history article on WWNT.com and so much more. Um, so stay tuned. We all, all weekend long, we'll be celebrating 60 years of the Tiki Room, one of my personal favorite attractions of all time. That's why we're on this set this week, because I wanted to put out a bunch of Tiki Room stuff to mark the occasion. Disney has announced new details about Rogers the Musical, which will run at the Hyperion Theater at California Adventure from June 30th through August 31st, 2023. Exploring universal themes of heroism, romance, and self-discovery, Rogers the Musical is an exhilarating and heartfelt experience for superhero fans, theater enthusiasts, and families alike. Avengers aficionados will appreciate creative interpretations of iconic objects and moments from Steve's journey, while theater fans will love the eclectic array of musical styles in the score and the show's original choreography. Rogers the Musical is inspired by the fictional Broadway musical theater sequence featured in the first episode of the Disney Plus series Hawkeye. 
This new musical project will come to life through the creativity of Disney Live Entertainment in partnership with book writer Hunter Bell. It will feature five all-new songs and music by Grammy-winning composer Christopher Lennertz and lyrics by Jordan Peterson, Christopher Lennertz, and Alex Karukas. Plus, fan favorite songs like Save the City from the Disney Plus series Hawkeye uh, and Star Spangled Man from the film Captain America, the First Avenger will be in it as well. That's one of my personal favorites. Rogers the Music will be performed several times per day, Tuesday through Saturday, most weeks from June 30th through August 31st. A virtual queue system will be available in the Disneyland app. Joining the virtual queue is not required, but is highly recommended, similar to World of Color 1, also at DCA. And each day that Rogers the Musical is performing, distribution for the complimentary virtual queue will begin at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time for the first two show times of the day and 2 p.m. Pacific time for the remaining show times. Guests won't be able to choose their show time. They'll be called back to the Hyperion Theater when the physical queue is ready to open approximately 30 to 45 minutes before, before the show begins. How-to details on the virtual queue system are available at Disneyland.com. If the virtual queue reaches capacity, you can check in at the Hyperion Theater before Rogers the Musical begins for walk-up viewing options. And all guests can participate in two magic shots as well from Disney PhotoPass service featuring Captain America's shield. These will be available in front of the Hyperion Theater. Meanwhile, collectible Rogers the Musical merchandise, including a t-shirt, magnet, and ornament, will be available near the Hyperion Theater. Rogers the Musical-themed food items are coming to DCA, along with the show's premiere on the 30th of June. The red, white, and blue shake will be vanilla shake with wild cherry and blue raspberry slushes and whip topping. That's something that's been at Epcot forever, but now just... It's so weird to see an item repackaged and, and sold at another resort. That doesn't happen a whole lot. The patriotic punch at Hollywood Lounge is Sprite and white cranberry juice with blue raspberry and cherry syrups topped with whipped cream. That's not alcoholic. There's a pastrami pretzel dog at Award Wieners. It's an all-beef hot dog topped with pastrami, whole grain mustard, provolone, sauerkraut, and Thousand Island dressing. There's also the shawarm itza. At Shawarma Palace, it's Italian sausage, pepperoni, mozzarella, and pepperoncini in a garlic parmesan wrap with marinara dipping sauce. There's like an apple pizza pie at Tarrant Treats. It's cinnamon sugar fried pizza crust topped with apple and cranberry filling, streusel, and cream cheese frosting. The Cap'n Everything dog at Outdoor Vending Carts will be a hot link wrapped in pizza dough topped with everything bagel seasoning and served with a side of mustard cheese sauce and potato chips. As well, there'll be kettle corn at Outdoor Carts. It'll be in red, white, and blue. and It'll be caramel corn. Uh, Rogers the Musical popcorn buckets will be available with the kettle corn as well. I don't know about you, but all that food, is it, is it, it's all New York themed, it feels like? Not things you could actually get in New York, but things that people might think you could get as food in New York. <laughs> anyway. Disney has also announced details about the premium viewing experience for Rogers the Musical. Guests can purchase this package from the studio catering company truck in Hollywoodland for $29. It'll be uh, available in limited quantities per performance. The package includes the Rogers the Musical popcorn bucket with kettle corn, choice of bottled beverage, access to lounge seating in stage 12 before the show, priority choice of seating in the theater, a souvenir lanyard, and priority access to a unique photo opportunity. Guests will check in up to 90 minutes before the show starts, and then will be led into the theater about 30 minutes before the show begins. The kettle corn and popcorn bucket will also be available to purchase on their own, as we said before. And Rogers the Musical, again, uh, those dates are June 30th through August 31st on select days. And when Rogers the Musical debuts, we have those showtimes, at least for day one. It'll be at 12.30 p.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 5.30 p.m., but that's subject to change throughout the run. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. The best part is their concierge services are 100% free. Head on over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and the team will design your next magical vacation from the Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resorts to the Disney Cruise Line to Adventures by Disney and more. The construction walls have expanded in Avengers Campus at California Adventure, displacing the Jeep in preparation for building the new merchandise location. We previously reported that construction had begun on this new space, but the site footprint has grown since early April. The shop has been planned for some time and was originally meant to serve as the exit store for the Avengers e-ticket attraction that was originally announced with the project. And as the attraction was delayed and later canceled, so too was the shop. The space has sat empty with blacked out windows since then, and the walls since again around it have expanded to enclose the tree situated on the right 
uh, and as well uh, where that Jeep was. Uh, no opening date for the store announced as of yet. There is a multiversal attraction that is supposed to be built at some point at Avengers Campus, but we have not seen them break ground on that yet. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if that's still happening. Nick Fury will debut in Avengers Campus at California Adventure. Nick Fury, portrayed by Samuel L. Jackson in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is the star of the new Secret Invasion series on Disney+. The series launched this week, and DCA is celebrating with the appearance of Nick Fury. It's unknown if Fury will be a meet-and-greet character or limited to sightings. We'll have to wait and see. By the time you're watching this, it's probably already posted at DisneylandNewsToday.com, so be sure to check the site to find out the latest on how you can find him. Hot on the heels of the new Pixar film's release, we spotted a new Elemental Sipper at Smoke Jumper's Grill in DCA. The Elemental Sip Sipper is $21.69, includes a choice of fountain beverage, a time of purchase, a limit of five per person, per transaction, and no discount supply. On one side of the Sipper, we see Wade made of water in the film and represented appropriately in light blue. On the opposite side, we see Ember, who's made of fire and represented in orange. The two halves are joined together at the center and are not separate molds. The actual drink goes in an easily removable cup, which sits at the center, making the depictions of Wade and Ember entirely decorative. The strap shows them in various emotional states, as well as with the film's logo and Disney Parks. As you know, Disney is transforming Pacific Wharf at California Adventure into San Francisco Square, representing Big Hero 6. The re-theme has been ongoing for months, and more murals continue to be added to the facades of the land while it remains open. We previously reported on the large San Francisco mural above the restrooms, plus the Baymax-themed restroom people. Very cute. Lucky Fortune Cookery, of course, will remain after the re-theme is complete. And many of the facades are still surrounded by construction walls and scrim. Some of the re-theming is as simple as adding Japanese characters alongside the English text. There are several themed murals and advertisements facing the water of Pacific Wharf. Some of these remain from the previous theming, while more Big Hero 6 details have been added. They were adding logos beneath San Francisco proud home of when we last visited, and a day later, the painting project was complete. The logos are for fake sports teams of San Francisco, such as the Golden State Samurai, another is the Nurasaki Emperors, and the last one appears to be an SFN layered over each other. No word on what team that is. Of course, they're not real teams. As seen on some of the signage, San Francisco Square will be the official name of the land. And after a closure to paint it red, the San Francisco Gate Bridge uh, reopened, but still doesn't have those tall Tory Gate towers we've seen in the concept art. No opening date has been given for the area yet. Obviously, it's remaining open through the process, but we don't know when it will actually become San Francisco Square just yet. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. Special shout out to all of our Wigs members who make this show happen every week. Half of Mater's Junkyard Jamboree in Cars Land is closed for refurbishment. Since the ride can operate at half capacity, it's not listed on the refurbishment schedule. Themed wood construction walls are up around half the attraction in Mater's Junkyard. Signs on the wall state the ride is undergoing a refurbishment. The queue may be longer with only half of the attraction currently running, but it's considered better than closing the ride in full. Nothing major has been announced for the ride. We would assume um, this ride, because of the nature of it, the floor has to be repaired constantly. The last time they did a major floor repair, unfortunately, they took away the correct coloring. It's gone to just this plain brown. We assume they're going to continue to keep the plain brown because it's easier to maintain. Uh, but I'm, I'm still hopeful that someday someone will be like, hey, we should fix the ground so it looks like it matches the rest again. But I know I'm, I'm, I'm being too hopeful, probably. The second red car trolley vehicle has returned to service at California Adventure, marking the first time both trolley cars have run at the same time since 2018. Though the red car trolley is now considered an iconic element of the park, it was only added in 2012, over a decade after it opened. In 2018, the red car trolley closed due to the Avengers campus construction. It remained closed for years longer than expected due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It finally returned to service in July of 2022 with only car 623, uh, running. Now trolley car 717 has returned to service and the two cars can be seen passing each other on Hollywood Boulevard. 717 of course a reference to the opening date of Disneyland July 17th. And though both trolley cars are of course red, 717 and 623 otherwise have different designs representing different periods of the operation of the Pacific Electric red car trolleys. For the absolute latest Disneyland news head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms.
If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of Disneyland News Today. For DLNT, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. And uh, farewell and aloha to you. WDW News Tonight is our weekly comedy show combining the news of the week, comedy segments, thoughtful discussions, insane characters, parody commercials, games, and more. Watch live on Thursdays at 9 p.m. and become a Wigs member to get access to a bonus post show. Watch WDW News Tonight episodes anytime and live on YouTube or get the audio-only version on iTunes and other podcast services.